we are going to be watching out for in terms of a review is JSW Steel, which reported what was a mixed quarter. So, Nigel, take us through the key highlights. Well, uh, you know, if you take a look at it, the stock is corrected from around the 1850, mm. 1880 uh, rupees all the way uh, to uh, to around this uh, 1640 rupees. You pull up a last one month chart, I think that will make uh, more sense. That's telling you the picture from September 5th, September 10th, uh, from that day onwards, in fact, the stock has corrected. So, it's closer around 8 to around a 10 percent correction. Let's run you through the numbers, though. So the street was factoring in a bit of a disappointment in terms of the standalone numbers. But let's take you through the key positives first. The strong volume growth in the standalone sales, that came in higher by closer around 20%. So the volumes were a positive. Uh, we also had uh, that, in fact, the coated steel business. So that's a smaller part and smaller segment. Over there, we did have the EBITDA come in higher by closer around 60%. So that was at around 167 crores uh, approximately. And also the international business. Um, did uh, rope in a better performance. So we had a bit of a positive number that came in from the U.S. operations. That as well was quite good. Now, the balance sheet improves, uh, and in fact, uh, they reduced their debt by close to around 1,400 crores just uh, in the last uh, quarter on a sequential basis. Now, the key negative, really, was the EBITDA per ton. That missed expectations. We were working with a number of around 7,500 to around 7,800 rupees per ton. It came in at around uh, 7,085, um, and that, in fact, was the biggest disappointment on their numbers. What really will support the stock is that they've done a corporate action, so the stock will be splitting from 10 is to 1, so that's uh, good news as well. It'll increase the liquidity. I was taking a look at what brokerages, uh, 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 what they had to say about the numbers. Morgan Stanley, they maintained their overweight rating, target price of around 2,284, uh, 3 rupees per share. Deutsche Bank as well, they've raised their EPS estimates, the target price as well. And uh, Redicare, though they maintain their sell, they believe that any kind of dip over the next two quarters um, will in fact be a buying opportunity. But 